Airways capital prepares to welcome its royal British guests with true Scandinavian hospitality. Its people line the streets and the waterfront in their thousands as the Royal Yacht Britannia drops anchor in Oslo Fjord and the Crown Prince brings the Queen ashore. King Haakon VII, who has ruled Norway for half a century, is at the quay to greet the young queen and her husband. Hostess for the three-day visit is King Haakon's granddaughter, Princess Astrid. Her brother, Prince Harold, is there too. The formality is reduced to a minimum, and indeed this is more like a family party than a state occasion. But there's no doubting the warmth and sincerity of the Norwegian people's welcome. In the Queen's own words, a wonderful reception which we shall never forget. The children in traditional costume form a guard of honour at Oslo's Folk Museum. There seem to be several ways to greet a queen, but nobody minds that. And there's only one way to dance this kind of dance, which after all is what she came to see. They can keep on like this for hours and hours. At Kontiki House, the royal visitors see the famous raft and its skipper, Thor Heyerdahl. He shows them the log of the epic Pacific crossing which thrilled the world eight years ago. This graceful ship once struck fear into the hearts of our ancestors. Still, the Vikings who sailed in her became our ancestors too. In the evening, a gala performance at Oslo's National Theatre. And all Oslo is here to watch the Queen arrive. The friendship between our nations, tested in war, has continued in peace, says the Queen. Long may it do so. So.